Okay guys, so I would like to say that my job in the kitchen is done and that I have harvested everything and canned everything, but unfortunately my job in this kitchen is never done. So today what I'm going to be doing, I gotta harvest a couple of things in the garden as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe and come along with me. Okay, so many y'all probably wanna know, what am I doing out in the garden today? What am I doing? Next few days, it's supposed to be in the triple digits, which means close to 100 degrees. I'm out here clipping back things, clipping back my basil, harvesting some things. I'm going to be um, taking out my celery. Um, there's just lots of things to do around here and so little time to do it. So I need to get okay. moving. So let's take a moment and talk about celery. Celery needs to be mounded up in a process called blanching. Some of these roots, you can tell here by what I'm pointing at. Some of these roots have already been, they're in the ground and they're, um, some of this is already, um, the bottom is already covered by dirt. That process is called blanching and you want that part to be as white as possible um, for flavor reasons and everything else. And pull this out. It is really in there, guys. I'm pulling these out because I plan on planting something else in here. Let's see if I can pull it out now. Uh, no. He really likes it here, I guess. This celery is really in here. Oh. Here we go, guys. I have a ton of these to get through today. This is gonna be insane.
go. This is insane, guys. Never had plant that had roots this big. This is nuts. The things I do for celery, I'm not gonna lie. It's freaking hot. Trying to dig deep so I can just pull it up. This is nuts. These roots are like hanging on for dear life. And I wanted to pull it out by the root. I have other things I wanted to plant in this bed. This is nuts. See if I can get it out. I don't think so. Mm. Mm. No. I'm a pretty tough chick. This celery's got me beat. Oh, it smells like celery so badly. In a good way, I guess. <sighs> Try to rip some of these roots. This is nuts, guys. I've never had this happen. I think I grew good celery this year. I've never grown celery before. And this is crazy. I'm gonna rip this out. Oh! Look at them roots. I had no idea celery would do this. It might be, it might honestly be the last time I plant this if it's gonna be like this every time. This is crazy. Now, I did some experiments. The experiments were, um, I left some roots in the ground and see if they grow back. Um, that's fine and dandy, but I don't think I'll be doing this again. I can tell you that. We'll see. See how badly I want my home grown celery. Something for myself. This is nuts. If there's an easier way to harvest celery, please let me know. I'm just digging it up by the root because I don't want it in here. This is nuts. Never had a plant that held on for dear life. Maybe a shrub. Shrubs usually do this. Ugh. All right, done with that row. All right. I think celery has a giant tap root. Look at that. This celery is like ridiculous. I'm on my second row. And I'm pulling this up.
This one's huge. a ton of celery this year with hopes of putting it in my tomato juice and I did that on some of it already but I plan on blanching and freezing some of this because there's no way I'm going to put all of this in my tomato juice One more. tap roots. It's exactly what this is. It's like pulling a dandelion root out of the ground. It's insane. Had no idea that they got tap roots like this. Or I probably wouldn't have grown them. This is nuts. And they smell so strong. Usually this is way stronger than what you'd get in a grocery store. Okay, so I came in from outside. It's pretty hot out there. Um, let's take a look. I did a celery weigh-in. Okay, looks like our celery is at 12.3 pounds. Whole bucket full of celery. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. We will see you on the next video. Maybe if I survive this. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.